back to a new video here on the new bite. Today is day one of EGX Berlin and I'm here in a hotel room in Berlin Spandau because it's right now a little too early actually. The whole event was started at 11 a.m. in the morning and we have 9.30 right now so that leaves me with enough time to have some breakfast and then to move over to the event location and see what's there. EGX Berlin is the Eurogamer Expo and it's the first time that it is happening here in Germany. It's a little smaller admittedly than Gamescom apparently but that seems to be a good thing because it's a newcomer. People are probably not aware of it right now so chances are really high that people can also play lots more games than they would for example at Gamescom because the place is not that full and there are way more game stations uh, compared to the average uh, amount of users per uh, venue. Additionally there are also some talks that I wanted to see today and some of them are very interesting. For example, what does Battle Royale the game would have that others don't have. Um, what is up with indie titles, uh, some specific topics for them, and how is also the um, sort of indexing uh, of games happening, why for example uh, Nazi symbolism is forbidden here, which should be very obvious, it's against the law, but uh, I'm definitely going to see these talks today, which are happening like for every hour and then, and uh, it's really cool. So I have three days here, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and on Monday I'm flying back to Cologne, and I'm really excited to see what's everything here, and I hope you will join me for this journey, and uh, see you later then, <laughs> bye bye! So the first game that I played at EJX Berlin was Kingdom Hearts 3, of course. The queues were so short, I just had to wait like 20 minutes on Friday, like for every game. And especially for Kingdom Hearts 3, I just needed to play it. So we had the Toy Story uh, section and the Titan section uh, available as a test demo. And I only played the Titan version because I think that it was actually more interesting. But also the Toy Story part, as you can see right now, where we're actually dropping into a mecha. It's amazing to play. And yeah, so overall the impressions are it's a good, it's a good Kingdom Hearts game. I really can't tell much more about it because the snippets that we saw were so short. There's no overall story, just like really very short slices of the development. And from what I could see, graphics are nice, music is cool, and of course gameplay feels awesome. And that's that. The next game that I played was Hitman 2, of course, by IO Interactive, and now published by Warner Brothers, not by Square Enix anymore. And yeah, this game is coming out actually as a complete game, no episodic uh, releases. And the section that we could try was actually the first level that we saw in the very first trailer also, which was in Florida, I think, if I'm correctly. And yeah, basically you just have to kill that one racing driver and the dad, uh, the big or company boss and all that. It's very interesting. I really love it. It's like Hitman just continued and uh, to me especially that type of game really uh, sold me of course. There are of course different opportunities that you can take. I for example went down in the garage tried to buy a VIP ticket and then I completely uh, lost control over the player because I forgot how to stand up again. I just needed to 
push the right stick in. And yeah, well, it's good, good fun. I uh, explored a few things. Uh, could have gotten, for example, the inside of the costume and steal something. I got inside uh, and got the VIP tickets. And then I saw, oh, actually, I can manipulate this car here. It was really great. I didn't play much of it because I was thinking, ah, I should see so many more games too. But from what I can tell right now, from this very early beta footage, it's it's great, really. Hatman 2 just seems to be the next type of game. Just constantly uh, continue what the first game did, and I can tell, yeah, I really want to play it now. Of course, I like the first one, and the second one would definitely also be on top of my list. Next up we have Total War Three Kingdoms, and that game uh, I never had really a touch point to the whole series, and the demo that we played started off with a super lengthy tutorial. On Friday at EGX Berlin we of course had enough time, for example, to just get into knowing the game and try things out, because many stations as you can see weren't even used yet, sometimes people were just getting there and being ready to play. Which is awesome, of course, for EGX Berlin. But for Total War, it was all like, okay, this is a really big thing here right now. I just want to play it. And the demo that I played, I really didn't get it right away. So it didn't click for me. Probably if I was a fan of the series, I would absolutely adore this game. But as an outsider, what I could see was really amazing. How my troops could perform and could be separated and split up. I just used the number, for example, the number keys on top of the keyboard to just select all my troops and really made myself comfortable and said, okay, we have the horse riders, for example, that go from the south. We have the uh, swordsmen that go from the west and everything. And of course, our two generals, which can also motivate our troops. This whole thing is really interesting to me, at least from an outsider standpoint. And I'm really sorry that I can't uh, bring you more insight about it right now. There's one cool thing, uh, which is a later seen also in the video, and that is actually duels, which if you have a general and you fight with another, or against another general, you can have them uh, have duels. So let's get right to that. Now at this point, my whole troops were lost, I only had the generals, but at least I could enjoy some sort of fighting. The game ended, I had to give up, but that was really nice.
fourth and final game that I was able to play at EGX Berlin on Friday was Devil May Cry 5, the demo. And this seems to be an older bird. Definitely. <laughs> there were so many different things happening in this game. Uh, also another game that I never had touched before, from the series at least. Uh, I just got it. This time I got it. Because hack and slash gameplay, like action gameplay, that's what I get really. There's an interesting thing happening with the arms that this character has. and They can get used up really quickly and you find them just randomly lying around in the level, which I think is interesting. But usually, well, at least in the demo that I had, without any training or tutorial beforehand, I just used up these arms super quickly that in the end I mostly only had my pistol and my sword to use. Still, seeing this rating on the right side and getting it up to A for Apocalyptic was amazing. It really felt awesome. And yeah, although as I said before, uh, I'm actually losing these arms and using them up very quickly, it just didn't hinder my fun at all. It was super good. And I'm really interested now to see more of the series. I see, for example, in the Xbox Game Pass program that Devil May Cry 4 is available. I know a little bit of the story because I was seeing a, um, a story uh, explanation video of all the parts that we've seen so far and that have been released. So I kind of feel like I just want to get myself into this world, both with, for example, part 4. And then soon when it comes out, also, of course, part 5. This Goliath match in the end here, that was amazing, it was so much fun. This big bastard here really took lots of hits for me, but as you can see, I was using my arms quite well this time, getting my uh, ratings up at least to C or badass. I think later on even to an apocalyptic, and that was of course the best feeling in the world. The characters and interactions of course are also amazing, the fun that we just could get out of the game is really good. I like the writing of it. The characters uh, are making lots of jokes and quips in between, which seems to be fitting. But yeah, that was a really enjoyable demo. That's my fun rating B, and that's my impressions of Demo Cry 5.